who Lord open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen If today you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. The Lord's is the earth in its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in His holy place? The one with clean hands and pure heart Who desires not worthless things Who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor They shall receive blessings from the Lord And reward from the God who saves them Such are the ones who seek him Seek the face of the God of Jacob O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Jesus lives and Jesus leads Though the way be dreary Morn to darkest night succeeds Courage then ye weary Still the faithful shepherd feeds Jesus lives and Jesus leads. All the words he ever spoke, still to us he speaking. All the bread he ever broke, still for us he breaketh, still the faithful shepherd feeds. Jesus lives and Jesus leads. Jesus lives, but Jesus died, love to death consigned him. Death, the mighty love resigned, could not hold or bind him. Therefore, still he meets our needs. 
Jesus lives and Jesus leads. Jesus lives and every grace comes because he giveth life and love in every place. Live for Jesus, live it. All our thoughts his love exceeds. Jesus lives and Jesus lives. Amen. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by her altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give heed, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the one who trusts in you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. Happy are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house 
shall be established as the highest mountains raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it, many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord of the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his her majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrection, a new hope. And in your ascension, new majesty. Sing to the Lord and bless his name.
from Exodus. You have seen for yourselves how I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other peoples, though all the earth is mine. You shall be a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. I tell you assuredly, no prophet is accepted in his own country. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies in the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was he, was swore, he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I tell you assuredly, no prophet is accepted in his own country. Praise to Jesus, our Savior. By his death, he has opened for us the way of salvation. Let us ask him, Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. God of mercy, you gave us new life through baptism. Make us grow day by day in your likeness. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. May our generosity today bring joy to those in need. In helping them, may we find you. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Help us to do what is good, right, and true in your sight, and to seek you always with undivided hearts. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Forgive our sins against the unity of your family. Make us one in heart and spirit. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways.
gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.